And that was the Great Study 36 um, by Kurtzer. And I believe he was deeply inspired when he wrote this um, particular one, particular 36 um, study. I think his latest ones are really good, but there are some moments that are just magical. And you can truly play it as a performance, like I just did, like with expression, not just playing the notes. Because there is beautiful melodies and there are some very special twists here and there. And it's really interesting to explore those um, harmony twists and melody twists, even if sometimes quite catch you by, by surprise, like it did to me once in this, in this performance. Um, because it's not always the same, it sounds like it's gonna be the same and then it suddenly changes. Now again, this is one of the last ones. So um, being one of the last studies, it's gonna be about double stops. I'm very much like 32. This one builds up on that idea that we have a pedal. And we tune to that pedal, um, which keeps changing. And then it changes a lot more. And then and there's another one here, for example, in the middle of the first page. Um, and I think that's really interesting because we can really focus on the intonation first uh, with the pedal. Um, and it's not just open string pedal, but with the finger. So it's a relationship between the fingers and the shape of the hand. Um, it also explores um, octaves. I would say these are actually octave arpeggios. Um, which is something that we haven't done very much yet. Um, so it's interesting to have that inside, inside the, the, the exercise. And again, um, it's an E minor which helps because it has a lot of ringing notes. Lots of possibilities to check whether we in tune or not. But then of course it also goes into different keys um, and that makes it much more interesting uh, from point of view of from point of view of, of the hand um, as intervals and also from point of view of intonation because we get to tune uh, double stops in different keys. Um, now what I'm really interested in this um, study, as you might have told, uh, you can tell, is that is the melody that drives uh, the whole the whole study. You know, is the and the harmony that comes from playing that with a pedal. This one. Um, and also how there are two melody symptoms um, in interacting. Um, no, not that, sorry. We've got the top melody and the melody at the bottom. So we want to hear both melodies. And it's really interesting that we can phrase both of them, both of them separately, all at the same time, but not synchronized, but in their own way. Um, late, the last thing to, to mention is, as it says at the very beginning of the piece, it needs to be played at the tip, which is another uh, difficult to your challenge uh, for this piece, because you could play it much easily here. And you can try it as well, but the difficult thing is to play it with a nice tone at the tip and do dynamics. Of course you can use more or less bow, but in general at the tip. And then for example, 
you can do different dynamics second time. And all the expression you want, but with a limited amount of bow at the tip of the bow, which is probably the least um, flexible part of the bow, so it's more difficult to make any more differences in tone and differences in dynamics. So I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and to like this video if you want to hear more of this.